Have you ever pondered the idea of the Sahara Desert, one of the driest places on Earth, being green and lush? It seems like a far-fetched notion, doesn't it? But what if I told you that there was a time when this arid, sandy landscape was a fertile paradise? Welcome to the mystery of the Green Sahara. This enigmatic period, also known as the African Humid Period, is a significant subject of study among historians and climate scientists alike. Let's take a step back in time to roughly 10,000 years ago. Back then the Sahara was not the desert we know today. It was a verdant oasis, teeming with life and bustling with activity. Picture vast grasslands, sprawling forests and large lakes dotting the landscape. So, what exactly is the Green Sahara period? Well, it's a phase in our planet's history when the Sahara Desert received high levels of rainfall, resulting in a green and vibrant ecosystem. This period lasted for several thousand years and dramatically altered the region's landscape and climate. But why is the Green Sahara such a hot topic in historical and climate change studies? The answer lies in the profound impact this period had on the evolution of human societies and the overall climate of the Earth. It's a prime example of how changes in climate can radically reshape environments and influence human civilizations. Researchers have found evidence of human settlements, pottery, rock art, and even remnants of large mammals like giraffes and elephants from this period. These findings suggest that the Green Sahara was a cradle of human civilization, where our ancestors thrived amidst a diverse ecosystem. Climate scientists are particularly interested in this period as it provides crucial insights into natural climate variations. Understanding the Green Sahara could help us predict and prepare for future climate changes. Imagine the Sahara, not as a desert, but as a region teeming with life, vegetation and water bodies. Quite a contrast, isn't it? As we delve deeper into the mystery of the Green Sahara, be prepared to reimagine this desert as it once was, a vibrant green Eden. So, when did this seemingly impossible transformation happen? Well, let's take a journey back in time, around 14,000 years ago, to the period known as the African Humid Period, or more commonly, the Green Sahara. This was a time when the Sahara Desert, as we know it today, was unrecognizable. Instead of the endless expanse of sand and heat, there were lush, green landscapes teeming with life and water bodies. But how did this dramatic transformation occur? The answer lies in the celestial dance of our planet. You see, the Earth doesn't just sit still in space, it orbits the Sun, spins on its axis, and both of these movements aren't constant. Over thousands of years, Earth's orbit changes shape, and its tilt shifts slightly. These movements, known as Milankovitch cycles, have a profound effect on our planet's climate. Around the start of the Green Sahara period, the Earth's tilt was at a point where the Northern Hemisphere received an abundance of sunlight during summer. This caused the land to heat up, creating a low-pressure area over the Sahara. Meanwhile, over the Atlantic Ocean, the cooler temperatures created a high-pressure area. The contrast between these two pressure zones caused the winds to blow from the high to the low-pressure area bringing with them the monsoon rains. These rains were no ordinary showers. They were so intense and frequent, that the desert landscapes gradually transformed into a green paradise. Rivers filled up, plants sprouted, and the once barren Sahara turned into a thriving ecosystem. This wasn't a quick process though, it took thousands of years for the Sahara to fully transform, but once it did, it was a sight to behold. Imagine standing in the middle of the Sahara, surrounded not by sand dunes but by vibrant greenery, teeming with life. Thus, the shift in Earth's orbit and tilt transformed the Sahara from a desert into a green paradise. A testament to the incredible power of nature and the celestial ballet that dictates our planet's climate. Now that we have a green Sahara, what did it mean for life there? Well, the transformation of the Sahara from a barren desert to a lush green paradise opened up a world of possibilities for life to flourish. Imagine a Sahara teeming with life, a complete contrast to the arid desert we know today. The presence of rivers, lakes, and an abundance of vegetation created a haven for a diverse range of species. The Green Sahara was not just a geographical transformation, but a vibrant ecosystem teeming with life. The species that thrived were not limited to just the typical savanna wildlife, but also included species we associate today with tropical rainforests. Elephants, giraffes, and hippos roamed freely grazing on the abundant vegetation. Predators such as lions and hyenas thrived, their populations supported by the plethora of herbivores. Life was not confined to the land, the rivers and lakes were teeming with fish, providing a valuable food source for both humans and animals. 
These bodies of water also attracted a variety of bird species, adding to the rich biodiversity of the region. Of course, the Green Sahara was not just a paradise for animals. The presence of water and abundant food sources attracted humans to the region. Archaeological evidence suggests that humans lived in the region, thriving on the bounty of the land and water. They hunted, fished, and foraged, living a life that was in tune with the rhythms of the Green Sahara. This period of abundance was also a time of cultural development. The humans of the Green Sahara created intricate rock art, a testament to their creativity and a window into their lives during this period. Their art depicts the animals they shared their environment with, revealing the deep connection they had with their surroundings. The Green Sahara was a melting pot of life, a place where humans, animals and nature coexisted in harmony. It was a testament to the resilience of life in the face of changing conditions. The Green Sahara was not just a geographical transformation, it was a hotspot of life and activity. All good things come to an end, so did the Green Sahara, but how? Around 5,000 years ago our planet underwent a subtle yet significant shift that would forever alter the landscape of the Sahara. The Earth's orbit around the Sun, an unending cosmic dance began to change. This shift had a profound impact on the climate of the Sahara, reducing the monsoon rains that had once transformed the arid desert into a lush green oasis. The monsoons, with their life-giving rains, had been the heartbeat of the green Sahara, pulsating with the rhythms of the seasonal cycles. But as the Earth's orbit shifted, this heartbeat began to falter. The monsoons became less frequent, and the rains less plentiful. The Sahara, which had been a vibrant ecosystem teeming with life, began to dry up. The Sahara's transformation from green paradise back to barren desert was not an overnight event, but a slow, inexorable process that unfolded over centuries. It was a gradual desiccation, a drying out that saw rivers and lakes slowly recede, vegetation wither and die, and the rich fertile soil turned to dust. The life forms that had thrived during the Green Sahara period were left to confront this harsh new reality. The lush green savannas and verdant forests that had once provided ample food and shelter began to disappear. Animals that had roamed freely across the landscape were forced to migrate in search of water and food. Human communities who had built complex societies around the resources provided by the Green Sahara were compelled to adapt to these new conditions or face extinction. This drastic change in climate and landscape led to a mass exodus as both humans and animals moved towards more hospitable regions. It was a time of great upheaval and change, a time when the Sahara once teeming with life began its return to aridity. The Sahara once a green oasis gradually returned to its current state a vast desert landscape. The Green Sahara period is more than just a historical event. It's a lesson about our planet's past, and possibly, its future. As we delve into the Green Sahara's mysteries, we're reminded of the dynamic nature of Earth's climate. This period of lush greenery and abundant life in what is now a barren desert is a testament to the planet's capacity for change. The Sahara, once teeming with diverse flora and fauna, was transformed over thousands of years into the arid landscape we know today. This transformation was not a random occurrence but a direct result of climatic shifts. The implications of this are profound. It's a stark reminder that the climates we take for granted today are not permanent fixtures but are in fact, susceptible to dramatic alterations. It underscores the urgent need for us to better understand the mechanisms driving these changes, and to respond effectively to the challenges posed by climate change. Moreover, the Green Sahara period offers valuable insights into human adaptation. The inhabitants of the Green Sahara didn't simply survive these changing conditions. They adapted, thrived, and left their mark on history. Studying their adaptation strategies can shed light on how we might respond to the environmental changes we face today. The lessons from the Green Sahara period are not confined to a distant past, but are relevant to our current situation. With the projected shifts of climate change looming, understanding the Earth's past climatic shifts and human adaptability becomes increasingly crucial. It's about time we paid attention to the lessons from the Green Sahara period. Our understanding and response to climate change should be informed by our planet's history. The Green Sahara period serves as a stark reminder of our planet's capacity for change and our responsibility to understand and adapt to these changes. If you enjoyed this journey through the Green Sahara, don't forget to like, share and comment on this video. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with our latest content.